Hi, this is Rachel with Beataholic, and in this video I want to show you how to make glitter paint using diamond glaze and art glitter, and fill a bezel to create a pin. Now here's an example I have here. This is a Nun Design lapel pin in this elongated heart shape. See the back comes off, it's a really nice pin piece. And this is made with a mixture of diamond glaze and glitter. Diamond glaze is a really cool adhesive. It's watery, it dries clear, and it's mixable. So really cool material and it makes a nice glitter paint. And with the diamond glaze, I use this art glitter in this Christmas red color. It's a very deep, rich red. And I have some of my glitter paint still here in this cup that I'll just show you. It's drying a little bit now, but it's just really rich, beautiful color. And that diamond glaze will dry clear, so you see that really pretty, dense, glittery look. So here's what you'll need for this project. I'm gonna make a variation today. So here I have a Nun Design lapel pin in antique gold in a moon shape. And you will also need your diamond glaze. You'll need a jewelry box. This is just a box and it's the bottom and I poked a hole in it. And this is so you can rest your pin through that hole and keep it upright as you're applying the glitter paint. And also along those lines, you'll need a penny just to prop up the bottom of your bezel as you're working. You will need a mixing cup. You'll need a paintbrush or a stirrer stick. This is to spoon your glitter into the cup. You'll need some glitter. And here I have a flax color, which is a pretty neutral color with flecks of pink and green. Very nice in this moon. And you'll need a toothpick. And you'll also need some paper towels just to keep the glitter off your work surface. So let's begin. First, you want to take the back off of your pin and place your pin into the hole of your structure here. And you can use a jewelry box, you can use a shoe box, anything that will allow you to keep this upright. And I'm also gonna take my penny and slide it under the bottom of this bezel just to make sure it's nice and level. So once that's set up, now I'm going to take my diamond glaze and pull off the cap and just squirt enough in there to cover most of the bottom of that mixing cup. Doesn't have to be too much. And now I'm going to open my glitter and I'm gonna do this over the paper towel because glitter gets everywhere. Love this color, it's so shimmery and celestial. I'm gonna take my stir stick, dip it in and just pour some of that glitter into the diamond glaze. And you can make this glitter paint as saturated or as thin as you want. The more glitter you add, the more vibrant and saturated it'll be. But if you just want a hint of sparkle, you can add less glitter and that will be fine. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to take my toothpick and stir that up. I'm not gonna stir it too hard because I don't want a lot of bubbles to form in my paint because then you'll get bubbles in your bezel. And that is not good. I think I'm even going to make this a little bit more saturated. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of this very fine glitter. And stir again. That's looking pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and with my toothpick, I'm going to drip this paint into the moon bezel. And I recommend using a toothpick because especially with these bezels with tight corners or interesting shapes, the toothpick can really get into those little itty bitty crevices and you can push that glitter paint around into the corner. So it's a very convenient precision tool. I'm gonna keep adding this glitter paint into the bezel. Pardon my reach, I'll just turn this around so you can see it better. And a little bit more up in this top corner. 
Okay, so that is your first coat. I recommend doing this in two coats because this diamond glaze will settle a little bit as it dries. It just compresses, gets a, gets a little, loses some of its volume. So I'm going to do my first coat and I'm going to leave that to dry. And once that has dried and settled down a little bit, I'll come back for the second coat. Okay, now we're back and I just let this dry for about 20 minutes. And I don't know if you can see in the light, but the diamond glaze did settle as it dried and it created kind of a valley inside the bezel. So that is why I recommend doing two coats because if you try to glop all of your diamond glaze inside at once, it will settle kind of funny and you'll get a bit of an uneven surface and it'll be a little bit lumpy. So now that the first coat is done, you can see where you need to add a little bit more glitter paint. So I'm gonna take my paint and it's still nice and stirrable, it has not dried yet. So I will do a second coat of diamond glaze and glitter inside my moon bezel. Very carefully so it doesn't spill over the edges. And this way you can be sure exactly where you're putting that second coat and you'll hopefully have a nice even finish when it all dries. Okay, I think that just about does it. Maybe I'll add a little bit more up at the top there. Okay, I think that's good for a second coat. So now I'm gonna let this dry for the rest of the day just to be sure that it all seals in together. And this diamond glaze is going to really seal that glitter in there. You can touch the surface, you can even scratch the surface a little bit and you're not gonna have any glitter flaking off. So it's a great solid glitter paint. So that is how to make a glitter paint with diamond glaze and fill a bezel to make a pin. You can find all of these supplies at betaholic.com. Thanks for watching.